Welcome back to another Beat to the 7 Quick Bits. In my last video, I got into the introduction of the three R's, reach, regain, and retain. Today, I'm going to dig in a little bit more with reach. Reaching new customers is a very big part of your brand and what you should be doing on a daily basis. This is bringing new people into the brand as people leave and basically replenishing um, that funnel, if you will. And you know the programs that you have to, to reach those is very critical in the omni-channel approach that I take. Reach is very much a part of the onboarding process and getting those individuals, those consumers into the brand. And you know, it could be a generic message that everyone sees, it could be very targeted, but it's very specific to get those individuals into the brand, introduce them to the brand, and then get them to have, really take that next step for the next purchase, the next engage engagement, or the next order with the brand. What is it that you want to achieve with Reach? So I'm gonna, um, kind of lay out a few of the things that I think are important, at least the way I approach um, REACH within my foundation so that you could fully understand when we work together. These are the things that I'm going to look at. These are going to be some of the recommendations on how we base these programs. So think about REACH. Once again, this is the onboarding process. So you want to get these individuals into your program, into your brand. So think about your welcome series that then is kicked off and triggered when someone engages with your brand. You want to get that, um, you know, not only the first order, but you also want to get that second order. So you want to, you know, incentivize them to, you know, really engage with the brand, create that second order. If you got an app, if you got online ordering, creating an account, um, email program, anything like that, it's also to push the consumers into any of these areas. And once you start getting that data, the data is very important. This is where you then set up omni-channel data-driven strategies and tactics to then engage with the consumers. And then ultimately, you really want to push these consumers over into the retain section of your programs. And, you know, I'll get in more into that within the next video, but it's very important to get them into that retain um, phases, journeys of your consumers. So hopefully, you know, the reach part of it's starting to make a little bit more sense. Think of it overarching. They don't know much about the brand. They may not have engaged. It's the onboarding process and the programs that go behind that onboarding process. You know, the reach part um, may seem like it's kind of easy when you th start throwing out some of the philosophies behind it, some of the programs that you have, but in reality, there's a lot of brands that still struggle with this. And you know, why do they struggle? Um, one is, you know, they have this data and they may not know what to do with the data. They have zero data. You know, they have time and um, resource opportunities or issues. But ultimately, this is, you know, where I come in to help you. I've got 20 years of past um, Papa John's experience working in the um, quick service industry, the restaurant industry, running data-driven marketing programs. And what I would do for your brand is, you know, we would look at what it is that we're wanting to accomplish. And ultimately, with any restaurant, it's increased sales, transactions, and comps, and customer engagement. And then the channels and programs that we would then put behind all this. So let's connect. Um, B2the7.com is my website. You can connect with me on LinkedIn. I'll put all the links in the um, in the comments below, and everyone have a great day. Talk to you later.